He was so thankful getting the chance to play in front of this full Brickyard Battalion all season long. We are thankful you're with us on MyIndyTV and ESPN+. Plus. These two teams played six months ago. And just see if you can get a touch on the other end of it. That is O'Neal Fisher that played that ball in for Detroit City FC. Martinez what a slips ball. behind a defender. A jersey tuck there. What a play by Steinwasher wow. as Martinez tried to tip him. Nate sends it up and over the bar. Three road match broadcast during the regular season and if there is postseason football home row will have it for you as well Asante Wenzati Wenzati what a, a bit of space has a hit but directs it at Nate Steinwasher and Steinwasher gets credit for a second save of the match what a touch Velasquez surprised with that ball was sent towards him Asante Wenzati couldn't get to it Dambrot he thought about it. Blake does more than think about it. I can't tell if that was post or keeper. It was keeper because it's a point to the corner flag. A Wilson Kehoe Winningham corner. It's very similar to what Detroit saw Wednesday night, where Colorado Springs was just all over them from the opening whistle. They're looking at not just that uh, that ball over the top of the high line, but they're looking when that's not on to build through feet and then get it wide and look for that ball served in across the box. Martinez. Did not get all that he wanted to on that one. Now Lindley slides it for Asante. Left foot wow. of Asante, but thought he had to back, right post. back at Steinwasher. San Antonio here beating Louisville here in, in successive matches. And Indy didn't have much left in the tank. Kind of one of Detroit's in that same position tonight. Martinez again probably would like to have that one back but continued applause for Mark Lauer because of what he is seeing from his team. That second ball was collected by Velasquez and allowed to, to keep possession and keep the opportunity going. Velasquez, one of the many mid-season acquisitions for the Indy 11, been with the team since June. Played in one match with Memphis before coming this way, and he has been an invaluable asset added by Mark Lowry. Lindley, the read. Asante keeps going forward, goes down, and a card will be shown for the first time, and... <laughs> Zolo may be hoping that the first one have been more because that second contact. Uh, City can handle that in one of two ways. One, when that ball is turned over, immediately get pressure to it to deny the ability to have that ball served over the top, or you got to win that ball in the back. Rodriguez, offside flags up. Ruts had just trickled a bit offside in downtown Indy. I do not think we are looking at uh, much in the way of stoppage time before we get to the halftime break. Martinez, left foot, go, gets it by Steinwasher, and he finds one at the end of the half. Douglas Martinez gets his fourth of the season. It is time to cue the smoke in Indianapolis. Three assists, and his numbers have been solid. Frankly, his role in this team is, is bigger than those numbers would indicate. Just kind of having that man to kind of play off. One minute, by the way, of that in time. And now a whistle called against the Indy 11. So one last set piece opportunity coming here for Detroit City. And a card will be shown to the Indy 11 as well. Velasquez, let's we'll get a clear picture here on this challenge. Martinez. Velasquez. Asante. Wow. Just one goal this year for Solomon. Team high, six assists. So, there's two subs remaining. Here is Williams immediately chasing the play for Detroit City. Getting in the way was Budati. Hit from distance. A clean save. And Trilk was able to snag on the way by. It's a great strike. Mishak niftily heads that ball back to Tim Trilk. And again, Martinez, the long-distance target. That has been the play tonight for the Indy 11. Velasquez. Left foot. Velasquez! What a hit for Sebastian Velasquez. There's the two-goal lead. What a tie for your first Indy 11 goal.
The playoffs have just got closer. One more time. Cue the smoke in Indianapolis with 20 minutes left to play. Thank you very much. Tonight has been a night for the unsung heroes for the Indy 11. Martinez and Velasquez, they have played critical roles all season long. Picture perfect from Sebastian Velasquez. What a ball. By the way, give Cam Lindley the assist. That is his fifth of the campaign. Dan brought down on the turf. We play on. Does Giop have a hit from distance? He does. And Trilk eyeballs it as it steers wide. That, that's Stephen Carroll. That's just a veteran understanding that he is not going to be able to stay with Martinez over the course of you know, 20, 30 yards. He's got to make his play at that moment and win the ball. Eight Quinn, Solomon Asante, and Jack Blake on the same roster. We've been so spoiled in watching this this year. He's played in 13 matches. This will be his eighth appearance off the bench. Local product, as so many of these Detroit players are from Grand Blanc, Michigan. They're currently in the eighth playoff spot. They've been on a crazy run. But frankly, that is right now a little concern for the Indy 11. Oh, that was the chance. Oh. That was the chance. Dario Suarez got ahead to it. Wow. Looks like going to last a little bit longer. Jack Blake wins that one for Indy. The hit. Clean. And Adam Ball to Tim Trill. It's in hand for Indy. The last thing you want to do is be playing with it in the back third, middle third, where you give a little bit of hope to this game. Blake. Pino is onside. And Pino iced this one for Indy. He'll play it to Molina. Molina touches it home. Smoke, fireworks, all of it. Indy is going to the postseason. It's a three-goal lead with three minutes to play. And very similar to the first, I think the first match he played for Indy was against Lou City. And he came in and was just all over the place creating opportunities. And, and Our referee tonight in a Katarina Coraleva. Ballard got fouled. So the last activity, this one might be a look on goal for a set piece here. That's it. October's going to last a little longer for the Indy 11. They are playoff bound with a three-goal victory.